off their race in the Fury Stakes. Summer Sunday, a clear, decisive break on them as they go. A great start. Summer Sunday clearly in front. Queen's Fate second up the inside. Avi's Mineshaft and Lovey to the moon and back. And back second last checked was Glamination. Last in the early stages, about four lengths off the lead, Jamaica Me Home. It's Summer Sunday in front. Gets to the inside very comfortably, leads by over a length. Up into second spot nicely is Queen's Fate on the inside. Avi's mind sharp third, taking off in the back. Jamaica Me Home. Between runners, Love You to the Moon and back is threading between horses pretty well. And at the back in a packed affair, Glamination, Summer Sunday in front. Attack for the lead for the first time, coming through is Queen's Fate. And they are neck and neck, about a length and a half away is Love You to the Moon and back. And coming into the center is Glamination, slips into third. Avi's mind sharp is absolute last. Jamaica Me Home swings around the outside. On the outer, Queen's Fate narrowly in front, but Summer Sunday has been saving, and back in third, Glamination on their heels. Two lengths away, Avi's Mineshaft rolls up on the inside, then Jamaica Me Home and Love You to the Moon, and back is last. Summer Sunday left the rail. On the outside, Queen's Fate, Glamination wide, Avi's Mineshaft, you could drive a truck up the inside. Summer Sunday's drifting right off a line. Jamaica Me Home's running a bit of a race, but Summer Sunday right deep on the track, still in front with Avi's Mineshaft on the inside, and Glamination and despite drifting right to the grandstand, Summer Sunday will win, and Summer Sunday scores almost a length and three quarters to Glamination, Avi's Mineshaft, and Jamaica Me Home. 124.17. Come on up forward, guys. Yeah, that's good, Bill. Summer Sunday remaining undefeated here at Woodbine with an adventurous run in the Fury today, ridden by Rafael Hernandez for the Scots as owners and trainer Stu Simon as well. And uh, Rafi, she broke really, really sharp today. Tell me about it after that. Yeah, it was really sharp. We're talking, Stu and me, we're talking about the race. Uh, we got a couple of speed inside. Tell me, Rafi, you don't have to be in the lead, but you, just, you feel you you have to go, you feel comfortable, go get it. So he just broke right in the top. I'm no, no way I'm going to take him back. You know, he's doing his job. You can see how he start get out, mm. how wide he goes, still winning. You know, if he goes straight, we should have win easy, but I to make me work hard. <laughs> yeah, tell me about that a little bit. Obviously not what you want to do, having to go so wide, but you still don't want to fight her too much, just let her run. Yeah, that's right. Every time I grab me, you know, slow down a little bit, so I just try to play. We, you know, try to get him slow down and let him go. You just play all the way in the rest. Uh, he do his job, you know, just round down the lane. It was like watching a violinist play his violin. You did very well. Congratulations. Thank you, and thank you, Stuart, and the owners. Thank you. All right, uh, Mr. and Mrs. Scott, uh, well, we'll start with you. Um, watching that down the stretch, how was that for you? It was a little nerve-wracking for a minute, but uh, she came through finally. That was great. She's been such a wonderful filly so far. I mean, the, the, the future is so bright. It looks like she'll do a lot of things really well. We hope so, And uh, but I was a little nervous about the weight. 124 pounds is a lot of weight uh, this time of year, in my estimation, but she, she handled it with, with ease. Yes, she did, absolutely, and that must have been it's so exciting for you, Anne. Oh, it's absolutely amazing. We just really are fortunate to have her. Right. Well, she has been undefeated here at Woodbine. And Stu, I'm going to pop over here and uh, join you now. Tell me about that start in uh, Keeneland. I know it had to be a disappointment. And do you just chalk it up and say dirt? No, thank you. Yeah, I mean, she had trained okay over the dirt. We had no other real options. We really felt we had her away for the winter for a reason to get one start in her anyway. And mm -hmm. so we, we thought we'd give it a try, but she it just wasn't her preferred surface. And, you know, and it was a very tough bunch too. And when you face those kind of horses, you got to have everything to your liking. 
Watching her getting out a little bit down the stretch today, um, what does that make you think you need to do when you head back to the barn? Oh, well, there's a there's a couple couple tricks I can 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 use to fix that and straighten that out. I I, I have a feeling I know why, and uh, anyway, we'll we'll get it addressed. All right, you tell me later, and I'll tell everybody. No, I'm just kidding. Congratulations to you. Well done, everyone. Thank you. Thank you. Trainer Sue Simon, the Scots, and of course Rafael Hernandez teaming up with a nice win on Summer Sunday in the Fury.